Cinder process costing MCQs. IC Limited uses process costing systems and inspect its goods post manufacturing. Okay. An engineer noticed on 31st of May or 31st, whatever, the following good units completed 15,000, normal spoilage 300, abnormal spoilage 100 units. Unit cost were material 2.5 and conversion cost conversion cost itself means labor and overheads okay was rupees 6 the number of units that the company would transfer to its finished goods stock and the related cost of these units are so the four options 15000 is transferred at a cost of 127500 15000 is transferred at a cost of 130050 15000 is transferred at a cost of 135000 and lastly in this case 15300 units transferred at a cost of 130050 now you will require your calculators for sure okay listen so whatever data those guys are giving i'm trying to write down that data over here right now okay now see in this data, I have written only five things. Input less normal loss will give you expected output. And compare it with actual output, you will arrive at abnormal loss. Now see, some data that are given to you in the question only. So therefore, normal loss is given to you as 300. Abnormal loss in this case is given to you as how much beta? 100. And actual output is 15,000. So therefore, let's try to add it up back. So therefore, this will be 15,100. And this will be in this case 15,400. Okay, this is the information that is there. Okay, now see, those guys are saying that your cost over here, okay, whenever you try to do the processing, material cost was 2.5 and conversion cost was 6. All these costs would have been incurred whenever you will input the material. So therefore, 15,400, I'm writing that number over here into 8.5. That is 8.5 comes how beta? 2.5 plus 6 rupees. I'm taking my uh, calcino. 15,400 into 8.5. So therefore, this is 130,900. But this is not your answer, obviously. This is the process cost. So on debit side, if you'll be making a process account, beta, it will be 130,900. Now, this cost, we always divide. No, one thing, we always subtract scrap value of normal loss, which is not given to you in the question. So forget it. Uh, Beyond that, we divide this thing by expected output. Expected output is 15,100. So therefore, divided by 15,100. This will give you cost per unit of output. This is 8.668. And what is the question, beta? The question is the number of units that the company would transfer to finished goods stock. Number of goods that it will transfer to finished goods stock will be good units. Good units means 15,000. And its cost would be. So therefore, Every unit will be costing you this much, 8.668. I'm taking that complete fraction on the screen into 15,000 units. So therefore, answer as per my calculator, it is 130033. Let me check up the options. 15,000 is there under ABC beta. And I guess we got 130033. But nowhere it is there only in the answers. Closest figure to that thing is part B, 130050. Might be I say would have taken that up to two decimals. Okay. So 8.668, I'll round it off. I'll make that as 8.67 into 15,000. I guess that exactly comes to 130050. So out of the four answers, answer should be B over here. Answer is B. That's the correct answer.